Free Baptist Church. Good to see all few of you. It'd be great to be in the house a little bit. Yes. Amen. Amen. Um, had a good week this week uh, with the food distribution. Uh, well, the report is that we served uh, 31 families representing 64 people. Uh, if you were involved in that, thank you for your time and for your service. Uh, that's a great ministry. Um, the last couple that I remember yesterday came in and uh, the look on their faces, do you have any food left? I just saw their faces. And I thought about spiritually. If they come in the sanctuary on Sunday, do you have any food left? Is there any food left? Well, there's food left. There's food left at Milk Creek Baptist Church. We can serve the needs of the people through the power of the Holy Spirit. But anyway, so that was a, that's a great part of the, the ministry that, uh, uh, we, that, uh, was, that took place last week. Now we have an upcoming, um, upcoming uh, in, three, in a month from now, you'll have an opportunity to serve again. These are opportunities that God will give you. You will never get an opportunity again. And you'll never get the opportunity to serve in that manner in July of 2022. But you can serve in August can serve in September, you can serve in October. So take advantage of the opportunities that God gives you. Because when you come to the end of your days, there will be no more opportunities here on earth. So let me encourage you with that. Also, uh, we have a prayer meeting every Wednesday night. Um, and that's where we take. We, we hear a devotional and then Brother Keith kind of encourages us in our walk with the Lord, and then we pray. And that's the number one reason with me, is to pray. Because we believe in the power of prayer and the power to change things. And we believe that God will change things if we will only pray. Now then, God help us. Is he going to have to take us to the floor before we'll call out and, and cry out to him? Please don't let that happen. I've got grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Pray now. Pray before it happens. Anyway, pray on Wednesday night, 6 o'clock. Uh, also, this this uh, afternoon, after the morning worship service, there will be a church council meeting. We'll kind of go over the first half of the year, what's been accomplished, uh, goals that we've set, goals that we've reached, that sort of thing. Just kind of give a direction to the church and, and see what's on everybody's mind about which direction we should go to, how the Holy Spirit's going to lead us in that. So be sure and attend that. Um, is that open to anyone or just to the leaders of the, the chairman? Yeah, the just the chairman. Okay. All right, chairman of the committees. Um, I, I guess if you wanted to witness it, uh, there would never have a problem with that. Also, next Sunday, uh, no, August 7th, when is that? That's two weeks from now. There'll be a nominated committee meeting. Um, you know who you are. Um, immediately after the morning worship service. Again, that's around noon or so. Uh, that, that'll be two weeks from this Sunday. Also, on the church outing for the Avonbury Grotto in Coleman, Alabama on August the 23rd, which is a month from now, um, there are how many spaces left, Mike? Four. Oh, There's still four spaces left, so if you'd like to go to that, fellowship with your brothers and sisters. Also, hopefully have a spiritual experience in that place, uh, a special place, uh, then I would encourage you to sign up for that. Also, there's a hymn sing. You don't want to say that ten times in a row. But anyway, there's a hymn sing on Friday, August 26th at 6.30 p.m. Uh, there'll be homemade ice cream supper immediately following. And there's a sign-up sheet on the bulletin board if you'd like to share your favorite homemade ice cream recipe. And I think about that because I was raised in Central Alaska and there, that's the only ice cream you had was homemade ice cream because they don't ship ice cream to Alaska. Well, it's a lot of other things, uh, especially Central Alaska. But anyway, that's the only ice cream I was, I was ever raised with. Um, but anyway, so those, those are the main announcements to make. Um, I thought about something today, and that is today is two years ago. Uh, this Sunday, something special happened at this church. Uh, I'm not talking about COVID and all the ramifications of that and madness. Um, Anybody tell me what that was? It's 
Steve Murphy went to heaven two years ago. He went to heaven. And of course, last Sunday we saw the testimony of his wife about how she had been healed from her back issue. She is not here this morning. The reason she is not here this morning is because now that she can walk, now that she can get around because God has healed her, she has gone to see a friend of hers who's in a nursing home in Lebanon, Tennessee. So her back is healed, and the first thing she, well, the first thing she wanted to do was come to church to give God thanks. But the second thing she wanted to do was reach out to somebody that desperately needs her. This is someone she grew up with who is confined to a nursing home. You see a pattern there, right? Commune with God and go out and take what God has given you and serve those around you. So anyway, those are the announcements. Um, did someone say something? Okay. Maybe not. I talked a little bit about do you have the ability to see the unseen this morning? That's what you need to pray for. That's the spirit of revelation. And the, the scripture says when you receive the spirit of revelation, God will grant that to you after that you have strong faith and you have learned to love all the saints, even the saints that you don't particularly get along with. If you've learned to love all the saints, God will give you the ability to see the unseen. And the unseen is all around us. And we're in Second Kings, so man, I <laughs> but anyway, any other announcements that need to be made? Does anybody know where the young people are this morning? No. Athena's sick at home. Athena's sick at home. Okay. That's the only one. Lori had some water problems at her house. Oh, I hope it wasn't under the sink. <laughs> Me and Brother Keith went out there and fixed that <laughs> two years ago. Um, also, uh, this coming su Sunday, I will not be here, and some young men at this church will not be here because we're going to go to Kansas City. Now, why are we going to Kansas City? We're going to Kansas City because there's a revival that's broken out there among the young people, and the power of God has fallen, and so we're hoping that the young people can go out there and catch this fire and bring it back to Mill Creek Baptist Church. Uh, remember that uh, the power of God is transferred by the laying on of hands. Y'all are familiar with that, right? Mm -hmm. Jesus laid his hands on people. What was the COVID all about? Don't touch people. You remember that? Don't touch anybody. We don't know how COVID spread. You know, if you want to live long on the earth, which I don't know why anybody would want to, but anyway, if you want to live long on the earth, don't touch anybody. Don't sing hymns in church. Don't go to church. Avoid people. You know, I don't even can see the satanic in that. So pray for us. Pray for these young men in particular. Um, pray for me. I'm, I'm glad to take them. Glad to uh, uh, escort them, if you, if you will, chaperone them. But uh, pray that they be touched by the power of God and they can bring that power here. Uh, that we can be touched. And that God can truly move in this community as we all pray and hope that he will. If there's no other, anything else I need to bring to this body, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, you know that I am but a man. And according to your word and according to my own experience, I know that I do not know how to pray as I should. So I ask you, Heavenly Father, that the Holy Spirit might pray in and through me. I pray, Heavenly Father, you forgive me for my sins and my shortcomings, especially in the past week, seven days since I have stood at this pulpit, Heavenly Father, and come to you asking you to anoint the service of believers, those that have decided to follow Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, if there is anyone within the sound of my voice who has not decided to follow Jesus, or maybe decided to follow Jesus and now have having second thoughts about that, I pray, Heavenly Father, that this would be the day that they would be strengthened in their faith. We pray, Heavenly Father, for the power and the presence of your Spirit. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the presence of your angels. We're grateful, grateful, Heavenly Father, for those that are willing to use their gifts to serve you. Gifts that you have given, Heavenly Father. So we pray for our musicians, for those who bring us the language of heaven, that we might be more deeply in touch with you. We pray, Heavenly Father, for Brother Keith. 
We ask you, Heavenly Father, the healing of his back problems, Lord. The, the twitch in his back, Heavenly Father, keeps him from moving fully as he should. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that this will not be a distraction to him for all that you have put in his heart that he's going to bring to us, Heavenly Father, that we may become more Christ-like in our walk with you. We do pray, Heavenly Father, for our Burmese congregations and for their pastors. We thank you, Father, for them. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for their commitment to prayer. They pray much more than we do. We're grateful, Heavenly Father, for their faithfulness to you. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to bless them. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this facility that you have provided, Lord God, where we can come and meet with you, Lord, out of the elements and not distracted by the heat or the cold or any other winds of the weather, Heavenly Father, that, that might distract us. And so we want you to know, Heavenly Father, we're grateful for that. And we're grateful for those that went before us that sacrificed Heavenly Father for us, uh, that we might be able to assemble here together in your name. We pray for our nation, Heavenly Father, for the leadership of it, whoever they may be, Heavenly Father. We pray for their deliverance from evil, as we'll pray in a second. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to deliver the American people from evil, where we know that the, the, your scripture says that when the evil rule, the righteous mourn. So we mourn. Father, over our nation and all that's going on in it. We just ask you, Heavenly Father, to remember the children. Please, Heavenly Father, remember the children. Remember us, for we are truly children, Lord God, even though we like to call ourselves sons and daughters, we are truly children. We know very little. So we pray, Heavenly Father, a prayer of thanksgiving to how you've stopped the execution of uh, babies in the womb um, in many states, and we're grateful for that. We're grateful for the Supreme Court, Heavenly Father, and how you place it upon their hearts, especially the Christians that sit on that court, you place it upon their heart that every life is sacred because you have granted it. So we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for them and for their courage, Heavenly Father, even in the face of great danger. And so we ask you, Heavenly Father, to bless them and watch over them. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine.